Cause if at first you don't succeed, you know when it comes to pass rushes, the Ravens gonna try again. Don't get mad, uh -huh. it's just what it is. What it is. Yeah, we talking sports shot out in Graven Vance. Yeah, this feels like a dream. So YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video, and in this video. Justin Houston is scheduled to visit with the Baltimore Ravens this coming Tuesday. Now, before we get into this, make sure you told somebody that you love them today. Make sure you told somebody that you really, really appreciate them. Because again, like we always talk about, so many people going through a lot of things that we don't even know about, especially with the whole pandemic. It just it made a lot of bad situations for people much worse. So and it also created a lot of bad situations for people. So please let people know that you appreciate them. Please let them know that you love them because it, it could change somebody's, not even their day, but their life around. Seriously. So I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for no matter what team you're a fan of. Thank you for always being willing to come on here and just have a conversation because that's what we do every single day. We just have conversations. And they're very fun conversations. I enjoy them a lot. So I appreciate y'all supporting the way that y'all do uh, and, and making these conversations fun. Real quick, shout out to all the Team Keep It Clean patrons. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all for what you guys do. So thank you for that. Now, Justin Houston. Shout out to the NFL chick because she put us on to this a few days back. And she let us know that the Ravens had somebody special coming in to visit. And then today, April 9th, when I'm recording this, today she said Houston on Tuesday. So she let us know that he was coming in for a visit on Tuesday. Jamison Hensley, he confirmed it. Jeff Zrebic, he confirmed it. So again, her credibility continues to rise. I mean, it was already up there, but she continues to let people know stuff ahead of time and she's on the money with it. So shout out to the NFL chick because again, she let us know before, way ahead of time. But anyway, Justin Houston, what could he bring to the Baltimore Ravens that they don't have right now? Now they lost Matt Judon, they lost Yannick Ngakwe. So obviously the Ravens are in the market for a pass rusher. Now, Justin Houston, one thing that comes to my mind when you look at his numbers, when you look at what he does, before I say that word, you know what? Let's look at the numbers. Let's bring them up. So 2011, his rookie year, he got five and a half sacks, followed that up with 10 sacks, 11 sacks, 22 sacks, seven and a half sacks, four sacks, nine and a half sacks. Then over these last three years, 2018, 19 and 20, he had nine sacks, 11 sacks and eight sacks. Now, the thing that that lets me know is exactly what he is and exactly what the Ravens have been lacking at the pass rush position for years, a finisher, a closer. Because the, with Matt Judon, Matt Judon was the king of QB hits, the king of QB hits. He always was at the top of the league in that stat. Yannick Ngagwe was the king of almost getting there. Then like at the last second, something would happen to where the QB would break free, he would step up, he would throw the ball away. So And with the Ravens, it's, it's been so many almost plays. And that just wasn't with Matt Judon and Yannick Ngakwe. It was with everybody across the board on defense. It was so much almost. So much, oh, just missed them. And that's not a diss to any of them at all. But that's just what it was. It was a lot of almost. So a guy like Justin Houston, he obviously knows how to close the deal. He knows how to finish the deal. He knows how to seal the deal. So that's something that you would definitely want on your Baltimore Ravens because we've been lacking. We've been lacking there. So this would really put us in a position to just be better as pass rushers to where you don't got to send six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. You don't got to send so much every single play. You don't got to do that. When you have a legitimate pass rusher with that front four, you can do wonders. But now, one thing that I think about with Justin Houston is when he could possibly be signed. And that is the thing that sort of troubles me. Because we know he obviously hasn't been signed yet. He hasn't been signed yet. He's still a free agent. That's why the Ravens are having him in for a visit. But the thing with Justin Houston, really more so the thing with the Baltimore Ravens, is you know they love their comp picks. They love them compensatory picks. And the comp pick formula, it isn't over until... Uh, the beginning of May, early May. So Ravens may want to hold off on signing guys who aren't their own, who will count against the compensatory pick formula. They may want to hold off on signing those guys until after it won't count against it. So they don't have to lose any more comp picks. 
But see, that's the thing where I feel like it's it's tough because you got a player sitting there. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, hey, well, he's a free agent, so Ravens won't have to worry about that. No, that's false because what happens every single year in free agency? There will it, it never fails. There will be guys that are sitting there chilling, posted up. All right, I ain't got no market right now. All right, nothing's going on, nothing popping, nothing buzzing. Okay, cool. Yo, agent, what's up? Oh, nothing. Oh, oh, okay, cool. All right, cool. All right, still waiting. So these guys, that their market is very, very quiet. What happens every single year? They take one visit, and that market heats up like that instantly. It never fails. Look at Sammy Watkins. Who was mentioning Sammy Watkins' name before? Nobody. He takes a visit with the Ravens, and then all of a sudden, oh, the Colts are now interested. He takes a visit with the Colts, and now all of a sudden, oh, the Texans are interested too. You see how it heated up immediately? And even guys that I think of with the Ravens specifically, this, it happens every single year. I remember last year, it was Ziggy Ansah. Ziggy Ansah was in free agency for the longest. Nobody said a peep, not a word. He would just post it up. Then all of a sudden, the Ravens were interested in him. The Lions were in, No, not the Lions because he left the Lions. But the Seahawks were interested in him. And there were some other teams that were interested in him. But because his name was the hot commodity at that time. Jadavian Clowney had happened with him last year. It, it happens every single year. Kenny Galladay had happened with him this year. Nobody was talking about Kenny, Kenny Galladay like that. Then all of a sudden, when the Giants were interested, then the Bengals were interested, then the Ravens checked in on, on him too. So... That's just how it goes. So what I mean when I say all of this is that with Justin Houston, the Ravens, if they really want Justin Houston, I feel like you can't beat around the bush, man. If you really want Justin Houston, you cannot take that risk to where you're like, oh, man, but, well, comp pick formula. I don't, I don't, I don't want to lose a comp pick because if you do that, you, you're going to lose the player. You're going to lose the player. It's no guarantee that he sits around and he waits for your call. He got other teams that's going to be interested too. So if the Ravens really feel like Justin Houston can sort of help move the needle when it comes to the pass rush, if they feel like Justin Houston can really be that much of a help when it comes to their pass rush, you need to get the deal done. You need to get it done. And even if the, the worst case scenario for the Ravens would be if they're interested in him and they, they're seriously interested in him, but they don't even offer a deal. Like if you offer him a deal and he declines it, I can live with that. I can live with it. But if you're seriously interested in Justin Houston and you really feel like he would help this team out a lot and you don't even offer him anything because of the comp pick formula and then, and then he ends up signing somewhere else. That'll be, oh, hoo -hoo, boy. So that, that's where it's tricky. It's, it's so tricky. Because you know the right, they love their draft picks. They love them. But sometimes you got to be like, hey, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to accomplish? And Ravens being in win, not only win now mode, but win Super Bowl now mode. Hey, scared money don't make money, baby. Scared money don't make money, baby. So you got to take those risks, man. You got to take those chances. And actually, it would be more of a risk to not offer him a deal and just let him go back out into the market. That would be the Ravens really taking a chance. But as far as the comp pick formula, it's so tricky, man. It's so tricky. But I just I don't want the Ravens to possibly miss out on a, a very, very good player, a finisher, a closer. I don't want them to miss out on that. Just because, oh, we, we got to hold on to our comp picks. I don't want that. Now, Jeff Zrebic, he said that they, uh, they may not even be done yet when it comes to bringing in uh, free agents at the pass rush position. He said, Justin Houston won't be the only pass rusher to come to the Ravens facility for a free agent visit over the next couple of weeks. He said, Ravens hoping to bring in several of the top guys still available. Current free agent pass rush market is headed by Jadavian Clowney, Melvin Ingram, Justin Houston, Ryan Kerrigan, and Olivier Vernon. Did the Browns cut him? Or did his contract run out? I, I, oh, I thought, he, I thought he was still a Brown. 
But either way, Jeff Zrebic let it be known that the Ravens, they are not done and they are going to be exploring all of their options. I like that. I like that. So what that allows you to do is to have some backup options, to have some fallback plans, and just to have some plan B's, C's, and maybe even D's. So we'll see how this entire thing works itself out. Now, of course, you know the Ravens, they're still going to draft somebody at the pass rush position too, but how early will it be? And if you sign somebody before the draft, then that sort of takes some pressure off of you uh, drafting a pass rusher early. But at the same time, you could still always have some guys to fall back on after the draft. Again, just in case. Just in case draft plans change, which they always do. Just in case this player or that player may not be available when you're selecting. It happens. Just in case. So Ravens definitely have some options for some ways that they could go about this moving forward. But I just, I, I, re I really hope that, especially if Justin Houston is the guy. I, I just really hope that they don't miss out on an opportunity uh, in the present just because they're trying to bank on a possibility in the future. We'll see how it all works itself out. Love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all, and we out.